All right, so hello, hello, Miss Raquel Campos. Hello. Yeah, I was I was beginning to worry, you know. Yes. <laughs> that nobody was going to join this class tonight. This only me, only me. <laughs> right now, it's only you. You know, it's oh. it's a, it's a very personalized class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that's okay. No problem. No, okay, but I have I have somebody else in the house, Mr. Felipe. So you, you uh, hello, Mr. Felipe. Good to see you, sir. On a Friday, you know. <laughs> the last day. Last Friday. Last day, last day of uh, the module, and it's a Friday. You know, just to make things a little bit different. Nice. Yesterday, I I had a problem with the internet. Internet. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. You know, we're in the middle of a of an emergency, of a national emergency. That's understandable <laughs> <laughs> because of the hurricane and and so it it's okay. It's understandable. All right. So let's see. Let's see if somebody else joins this class. But let me ask you before we actually start. So I guess you already finished the platform, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Because you know, uh, these people from, from uh, in Safford, they keep on asking, right? Keep on asking every single time in the chat, you know, this is the last date, etc. But that's the way it is, you know. So that's that's the requirement over there. Okay, so we have Mr. David Magana in the house right now. Mr. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. So last class, you know, uh, last, last day of the week. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, Yeah, you know, to make honor to the ones that are to respect your time, let's begin right now. So, uh, David, Felipe, Iris, and then we have Miss Miss uh, Raquel as well. So, let me just one second here. All right, so we're going to start with the word of the evening for tonight. And uh, what we're going to do is to go over this. Do you have any idea, you know, to, you know, to close, to close the uh, module with the uh, with the right foot or with the left foot? You know, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go with this. This is a tradition for us, and I really hope these phrases, you know, have helped you to increase, you know, to to have a better vocabulary. <clears throat> And the phrase for this evening is way to go, all right? Okay. And I'm, I'm going to ask you, do you have any idea what the phrase way to go means? 
sin buscarla, ¿verdad? En, en internet. Uh, <risa> I, I know your ways, you know, I know your tricks. Yeah. Ya se los puedo, va. Ya me los puedo, ya, ya me los puedo, ya. Y se ríe. ¿verdad? No será, no será como ¿verdad? decir a mi manera. Ajá. No, 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 really, no really, Iris. You know, that's why it's an idiom, you know, it's an idiom. It, no todo es lo que parece, you know, it's, it's not really what it looks like. <laughs> Way to go. Way to Vamos. go. All right. Uh -huh. But what if, I, what if I say to you, hey, congratulations, way to go, way to go. Bien hecho. Yes, you got it. You got mm -hmm. it. So instead of saying, hey, congratulations, well done, good job, we also oh. say, we also say way to go or way to go. And this is, you know, this is a very American phrase. So if I put this into context, let's say you, you already finished the platform and this is the last date of module, uh, intermediate module. And I can tell you, good job, everyone. You know, way to go. Bien hecho. Así se hace. Way to go. Yeah, way to go. Or Mr. Or where uh, Mr. Biden, you know, in the United States, he's the, he's the, the president. Uh, they're going to tell him where to go, Mr. President, or where to go by uh, Mr. Biden or Trump, except so it doesn't really matter. Okay. And here it, but, um, so what, what we have in here, it's uh, here is just the, the origin, you know, where the phrase comes from. Uh, apparently this phrase comes from uh, sports back in the 60s okay so and this is a very uh, I would say a modern way to say well done or good job or congratulations but it's informal but you can use it at any time so take a look at this so way to go it's informal it means well done Eso es, eso es, bien hecho, te felicito. Okay? So if you, if you tell to someone where to go, you're not telling it a tu manera, no. Uh, we're, not, we're not being McDonald's, right? Tu manera, sabe mejor. No, we're not saying that, right? This is something else. It's something else. All right? So, way to go, everyone. Thanks for being here in class and thanks for finishing the platform already. Okay? And uh, let's begin with the actual class that I have for you today. Let me ask you, did you have a chance yesterday to practice these conversation questions or not? Maybe just one or two, right? Can somebody say, yes, teacher, we practice all of them. We don't need to practice this again or, or we only practice only one. Or if you want to practice again. Only two. <laughs> okay, it was only two. Okay, not a problem. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, all right. So in the class, I'm happy now because we have a, we have Mirna again. She's been sick a little bit, but now she's in the house, but she's a little bit sick. So no problem, but she's going to be with us. Uh, so we have... Raquel, David, Angel, Felipe, Iris, and then uh, it's Joseph and Mirna. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you into a group of a group of three, so you can practice these questions. But please do not say just uh, which is harder, math or, or, or English. Like in this example, if you say English, so explain please why. Because I don't know, because for me it's more difficult. I don't know how to pronounce. There's a lot of vocabulary. Or I don't understand what the teacher says. You know, he doesn't explain well. Or, or I don't have time. Or math, I'm an engineer. Or something like that. Okay? So please give a, an argument to your response. Like, like this one. Is it better to study English in class, in a classroom or online? And then you have... On one hand, the uh, I would say the advantages, and then you have the disadvantages, and then you get to a conclusion. Okay. Do we have an agreement, everyone? Uh, yes. Yes. 
Thank you. So you're gonna be practicing uh, with two more classmates. In this opportunity, we're gonna have, um, let's see, let me just see something. There's going to be a group of three, David, Felipe, and Jose, and then there's gonna be Angel, Raquel, and Iris, and Mirna, all right? And, um, or no, I'm gonna make a group of, groups of three instead, okay? Just one second. All right, so Angel is working with David, Mirna, and Raquel, and then Felipe, Iris, and Jose. But I think Myrna is a little bit sick, so she cannot speak. So she's, she's just gonna be listening to you, all right? So join the breaker rooms, please. Mirna Lopez, hello. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send the uh, the access to the conversations, okay, to you right now. Okay. Yeah, it's the same as yesterday, but uh, no problem. You know, I'm gonna send it to you. There you go. All right, so get to practice, boys. Yes. Hello. Hello, Hello. Mirna. I'm Raquel. <laughs> yeah, it's Raquel, and then Mirna is not gonna speak to you this evening oh. because she's she's a little bit sick. So Raquel will be working with you. All right. Raquel Lop Campos. Yes. Uh, Angel, which is worse? for your health, smoking or drinking? I have a problem with smoking, but- Why? But uh, the bus is terrible in San Salvador. Yes. And you? For me, uh, smoking and drinking is is uh, very dangerous, and for our health, because has the different um, sickness and I don't know, ¿cómo se dice enfermedad? Ah, me recuerdo. Sick. Sick. Uh -huh. And for me, uh, both are very dangerous. Oh, mm -hmm. baby, and you? I, in my opinion, I, I think uh, smoking is, is more addict, addictive. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, yes. number two. Which is a harder, math or Eng English? Uh, I, in my opinion, is math. Math. Be yes. be because, because math is science. Uh, our English is, is a language, not the science. Oh. Mm -hmm. For me, the same because uh, always I, I had uh, problems with math and English is a little easy for me yes i like i like i like math i like the math for me i like i like, I like, the, I like the math for me i like uh, english because i need to speak to speak english for new jobs uh-huh uh-huh I work, I, I need work in, in call center. Oh, uh -huh. okay. 
Okay. Number, uh, number three. Number. Three. Is, uh -huh. is it better to be rich and ugly or poor and beautiful, handsome? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't. For me. Dumbo. <risa> es algo tonto quizás, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. O sea, ser rico, pero pero bobo, tonto. O pobre, pero inteligente. Burro cargado de pisto. Ajá. Ah, exactly. <risa> <risa> ok. Uh, en mi opinión, is uh, is be a uh, poor intelligent oh yes because if you if, if you have in uh, if you are smart or intelligent uh, you can do uh, different things to to reach a uh, 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 money much money uh huh mm -hmm. but if you are a uh, dumb and rich you can spend uh, your your money in tonterías no sé cómo se dice cómo sí o sea if you if you are rich and dumb, ah. you um, spend your money Ajá. and in cosas tontas. Ajá. No, no invertís. Yes. I I I think. Uh, oh, I I wish I wish to be rich and smart. Uh -huh. <laughs> For me, it's the same. <laughs> Is excellent. Are, uh, is excellent. Sir, are, are is the real line? Why? Because um, uh, you don't need go out to to the school mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. more basically I think uh, both both are very good uh, uno por el horario one for the schedule uh, uh, and the other it's one it's better, it's better online okay I would say there are some advantages and disadvantages. Like you're saying, uh, uh, online, you choose the schedule. And right now, you are from 9 to 10 p.m. because you are available. O sea, está disponible. You know, you can do it. But if it's in a classroom, classes are earlier, let's say, from 6 to 8 p.m. So you have to uh, adapt to to the schedule, all right? You have to stick to the schedule. Tiene que apegarse al horario. I think that's a disadvantage. And Jose was saying, right? Yeah, I think it's better because you manage your time in, in a better way, like Felipe was saying. Say, and you don't have to travel, so you don't have to commute. So no, uh, so no danger, right? <laughs> Traveling in a bus, you don't have to pay. It's more, it's more accessible. It's accessible. All you need is to have an internet. And if you are responsible, like you are, you're going to be learning. And you have more tools. Because in a classroom, it's just what the teacher tells you in a book and just the listening. And over here, you have a lot of tools. Okay, You have uh, images uh, and then this uh, information that I sent to you. So I think I would say uh, online classes are maybe better than, than in a classroom for me. Okay, for me. Yes. 
What about you? I mean, I don't know if you have something else to add. Maybe Jose. Nothing, nothing. It's better than I. Yes. If you hard the legs, feel <laughs> But sometimes, but sometimes I feel like I, I want, I want to go at the oh, game, right. right? You feel I alone. Feel, feel. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's weird. It's weird. This is weird. I get to use it. Or we get I, to I use think. It, I don't know. I think if we uh, in the room. if we had the same tools like I don't know the internet and all of this material in a classroom like a lab you know you had a computer and then the teacher is speaking to you and the practice and then you do this it would be the best right but when you go to an academy English academy is just the the whiteboard and just the teacher with a marker so there's no listening like the one we, we do, there's no conversations, and sometimes it's just the teacher is speaking and you don't do anything. But in here, it's you, the, the one that do 90% of the work and the teacher 10%, I think. My job is to have the class ready, you know, and to, to give you the steps, you know, to open the door. It's, okay, so that's my job, all right. So uh, let's continue, please. I wanna uh, listen to you, please. <clears throat> Which is harder, harder, math or English? <laughs> I think it's math. There's no math, no. math, math. No, math is mechanics. English, no. Mm -hmm. it, it's more difficult for the grammar, the pronunciation. Uno, uno no puede leer la palabra porque se pronuncia diferente. It's very difficult. English, mm -hmm. that is very pretty. Mm -hmm. It's pretty it is very necessary for the life. Ya sea para trabajar o para uh, to work or to travel. Mm -hmm. You're right. To survive, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about you, Mr. Felipe? What do you think, sir? Math or English? I, I, I think uh, English is higher than math. Really? But if you ask because a math a math teacher, they will say the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> they say that English is just a joke. Yeah. And I'm gonna I, say I, the, mm -hmm. I prefer math. Yes. Math is, uh, was my favorite. Uh, in high school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. That's really you, Mr. Paris. In my case, it's math because it's more harder math because you need to be more concentrated and be smart, right? Because you need to, to understand the numbers, right? Plus, less, things like that. And be nice with the with the numbers in your mind, mm -hmm. it's like another step of mind, you know. Mm -hmm. People say that math is, is like a, another language, right? Yeah, it's like another language, maybe, but it's more difficult because you yes. need to do more things, not, not, not just follow rules like English. Perhaps for that, I feel like maybe more easy English. It's like more style, chilling. But in field and speak mm -hmm. I don't know. you know mirna your 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 classmate mirna lopez she's a math teacher but in here it actually depends because she's an expert in math because she teaches at a university level and she teaches in high school so she's she's i would say she's a master in math not because she has a degree but she's a master you know in math but she's learning english and english for her is a little bit difficult but it's because she's learning english when she's not young like she's not a, a child if you were a child it would be just like this piece of cake or if you live in the united states or in canada or you know. so that's that's the, the problem teacher, the teacher. 
Mm -hmm. The pubs of people live there or traveling uh -huh. there in the United States. They never, they never learn, right? Play. So, <laughs> yeah, they never learn. So they, that's they, good. They, it's not a lot of and, and know how to speak and the slang and everything like that. When they you learn. go, teacher, we go, learn right? about those things about yes. the United States we do here. You know. Yes, yes, way to go. Yes, I have some family members who live in the United States and they know how to speak Mexican now, you know, Spanish, Mexican, <laughs> but no English. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the first two weeks, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that happens. All right, nice. So let's see, at nine thirty, we're gonna come back. So two more minutes, and then we come back to the main station, please. Okay. So try to continue, please, with this. The next, if you own a business, is it more important to be good with numbers or be creative? Creative. Yes, creative. It is. I think it's creative. Uh, because the number and um, puede tener cualquiera that is great if you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. And you, Jose, what do you think? Maybe, no, maybe no, it's more important because if you're good in, in the north, in the Numbers, you you make money, right? You earn money, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if you do a mix, creative, and you know the numbers, you're, you're a like, genius, right? No. You're a, you're Bill Gates. You're a genius. <laughs> uh, you're Bill Gates. You're Bill Gates in the seventies, yeah. Yes. Microsoft. Or, or Steve Jobs, right? Yes. Or Steve Jobs. Yes. Or try. Yes. Nice. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I think. Development. Was dumb or which one? Uh, do you want the development of the new technology to the faster or slower? Uh, the yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they want to the, the development of new technology to go faster. O si quiere que las cosas vayan más rápido de lo que van o, o, o más lentas, ah. la tecnología. Ah. I okay. think the way they are right now, because I don't want to be controlled by a device. Yeah. I mean, that's in my case. But some things can improve. But let's go back to the main station because there, there's more class for us tonight, okay? All right, so I think you had a, a great uh, opportunity to practice this. And here you realize that you have learned, uh, I would say it a lot during these, uh, I don't know, these years studying English, but still we need to practice a little bit more. Okay, because in here it's, we have to go, you know, uh, beyond our comfort zone. <laughs> and this is what happens in here. So the more vocabulary you, you know, the better for you, okay? And I think this is the, a great way to, to practice your English. And as some of you already said, it doesn't really matter that you're online or in class. What matters is, you know, the effort or the amount of time that you spend studying English. So that's what matters, right? It matters how much you want to learn because some people travel to the United States or live in the United States and as we said, it is, they learn how to speak Spanish, you know, in a Mexican way, but not English. <laughs> right? And that's a reality. That's a reality. I have some aunts, some uncles, you know, some cousins, and some other people who I know, they don't know how to speak English. But you, right now, you're learning, you know, little by little, but you're learning. And that's the attitude. So that's what I'm telling you. 
now that I have a full class, way to go because this is the last class and we have 30 minutes for this to be over. Okay, but it's not over yet. So let's continue with this. Nice. All right, so the next activity is this one. Common wishes people have about their lives. Okay, so and then we have, let's say, uh, sometimes if you have a job, you want to have another one because of the salary or, or because of the benefits that you have. Por las prestaciones, perdón. Sorry about that. So um, tonight we're going to uh, talk about the uh, wishes people have. Or in other words, your wishes and mine too. So you get a different job or you, you want to go back to school. Here, I'm not saying que quiere regresar a primer grado, ¿verdad? No, this is not what I'm saying over here. So what I'm saying here is that you want to go back to the university or to study something, okay? You want to specialize in something, you know, go back to school, all right? You want to continue your studies to finish your major, your career, or you want to finish English. That happens. Quizás algunos habían dejado de estudiar and now you want to go back to school, right? So, and this is the scenario over there. All right, or maybe you want to move to a new place. Your house is too small, my house is too small, or I, I, or I want to go to a better place because over here it's not safe. Or maybe uh, I have another job and I can pay it another house. So you want to move to a new place, this one. Next one, you will want to change your appearance. Maybe this is not a reality, but sometimes you want to have, a, 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 I don't know, a better look and your haircut or something like that. That's not very common, you know, that's more American, más gringo, you know, this changed my appearance. Add more hours to every day. Who says yes? Who wants, who wants to add more hours to every day? Quien quiere tener un día de 30 horas? To rest or to recharge your batteries maybe, or to be with your family or not. Yes, don't you want to have a, 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 a day with more hours or less hours? Yes, Raquel. Yes, more hours. <laughs> more hours, right? For me to sleep, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, to recharge, <laughs> to recharge my batteries. Yeah, thank you. Anybody else yes. who would want to have more hours to every day? Or we're good just the way we are. We just want, you know, 2020 to be over, right? Que se va el 2020. All right, so improve my personality. That happens, okay? Enjoy life a little bit more. This, you know, this could be another a dream or another wish that you have. Become healthier. Yes, you want to have a better uh, uh, lifestyle to do exercise or to eat Les pupusas, you know, that's difficult, but <laughs> we can try. Or to choose your friends in a better way. Si se fijan, esta entrevista es de personas de 18 a 50 años. This is what people between that range of age, which is, all right? So these are the ones. So tonight we're going to be studying this. And my point is, which of these things would you like to do? We're gonna practice this and then we're gonna practice something else. So there are two activities that you're going to practice in purse. And this is the first one, the second one. The second one is this conversation. This conversation is between Brian and between Terry. And they're gonna be uh, talking about, as you can see, making wishes. So I'm going to ask the help of uh let's see of uh, noria noria if you would like to help us please you're gonna be uh, all right so you're going to be brian and i'll be choosing uh, a gentleman in here let's see uh, mr felipe if you would like to help us or you're gonna be terry so um noria you're brian and felipe you are terry please help us with this uh conversation Okay. So, where are you working now, Terry? Mm -hmm. 
No, I'm still at the bank. I don't like it. So? Why not? Well, it's boring and it, it doesn't pay very well. I know what you mean. I don't like my job. Really. I think it's so fun. I do Actually, I don't want to work at, at all anymore. I wish I had a lot of money so I could retire now. <laughs> How old are you, Terry? Uh, 26. <laughs> you know, Terry is only 26 and he wants to... <laughs> get retired that he doesn't want to work anymore come on what's this <laughs> apenas ha comenzado a vivir vea yeah he's just studying living so what you're gonna do in purse right now the next next activity will be to practice you know to practice this uh this conversation okay you're gonna practice this conversation and also you're going to share some wishes that you have with your friends so and then you're gonna ask these questions which of these things would you like to do maybe you can say oh you know i want to get a different job because the one i have is too far from home like in my case you know i live in mexicanos by walmart constitution and since you know i'm a teacher i work in in a private school in santa tecla by this uh mall uh how do you call this? I forgot the name already, you know, but it's very, very far away. Camino al Puerto over there, el, el, uh, Carretera Comasagua. So that's where I work. So it's very far, far away with traffic. So I can say I get a, I want to get a different job. Okay. Or because I want to have more benefits or more pay. Right. So this is what you're going to practice first. Second thing is just a conversation. So practice a conversation with a classmate. I'm gonna send this image of the common wishes people have, and then this conversation between Brian and Terry. But before, I need to uh, split you in pairs. All right? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. All right. I appreciate your feedback. And uh, here we go. All right, so in this case, uh, we have uh, David with Felipe, Angel with Iris, Mirna with Rodrigo, Raquel with uh, Rodrigo again. <laughs> Rodrigo's twice, so Raquel, I'll be practicing with you. And then uh, Jose is with Noria. So, but, right, so let me send this to you right away, all right? The, the two images over there. So just one moment here. So one second. All right, so Noria, try to join the uh, the room, please. Uh, Jose is waiting for you. So Noria, are you having any problems with the internet? All right, so you join already. Thank you. Um, so Mirna. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Lopez. Hello, teacher. Yeah, I can see, I can hear that you're uh, very busy. No se preocupe. Okay, so lo voy a leer. No, 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 no se preocupe. Este, si gusta, lo, lo voy a poner con, en otro grupo para que usted escuche, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, so you don't worry about that. Pero qué bueno que está acá, ¿verdad? Así hasta el último momento. <laughs> yes. That's the attitude. 
los cambios de clima, ¿verdad? Cómo lo, lo molestan a uno, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that happens. So, um, let me send you to this one. I will go back to the year 2018 because was it it was uh, the major year for me. All right. So, what are you talking about, Felipe? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. All right, so uh, Felipe, what, what, what were you talking about? Sorry. Oh. Uh, this got uh, a different job or what? I, 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 I wish go back to the year oh. 2018. 2018, okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's good. All right. Uh, let me ask you, Mr. Magaña, uh, anything, the, any wish that you have? I don't know, become um, healthier, become healthier. <laughs> uh, a little. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I go back to a school. Okay. What, what else do you want to study? Because I think you have a lot of degrees, uh, right? So you're I, a lawyer, a teacher. I miss I miss my student, my coworker. Um, um, I I miss the place. Um, I have I have two two different job. Uh, in the morning as lawyer, in the afternoon as teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we do. We have like two or three jobs, right? That's my. That's the same for me. <laughs> but I'm only a teacher, you know. Social studies teacher in the morning, and then an English teacher in the in the evening. Uh -huh. I I wish uh, to learn English perfectly. Yes, but we just gotta wait, you know, with time. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this, I. You know, I began to study English when I was 17 years old, here in El Salvador, in the University of El Salvador, in the University of El Salvador, in, a free, in, in the free English courses called CENIUES. That's what I learned. And I only uh, study on Saturday afternoons once a week. Okay. And then I began the, uh, the university and then I kept on learning. And I'm still learning, okay? So it takes time. All you, all you have to do, Mr. Felipe, is to be persistent, you know, be persistent, okay? okay. Honestly I, speaking. I, mm -hmm. I studied English in the university uh, in the... In the what, you said? Uh, Felipe, in the university and I think your system got to stuck over here. All right, so let's move forward. Uh, Let... Yes, Mr. Magan. I study. I study. I study in university of Salvador. All right. Um, and do you do you work I over write, there? I I write. Huh? Do you work as a teacher in there at US? Um, no, my teacher in, in, in a public school because oh. uh, because um, I I believe I, I believe that I believe uh, to 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 teach in, in the university. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, about my experience as a lawyer, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I prefer I prefer I prefer 
to teach in public school and, 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 and to work to work in the street as a lawyer as a lawyer because right. uh, 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 because there are uh, a big a big case mm -hmm. a big case in, in interesting and 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 sometimes uh, there are there are uh, many there are money <laughs> yeah yeah that's the idea you, you gotta look for it right you gotta look for it okay yeah. now let's let's try to practice mr magaña and mr linares so uh david you can be uh brian and then felipe you can be uh terry please all right and then let's go back to the main station i'm gonna give you let's say two minutes please go ahead please okay so uh david you start please so 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 where are you working now tori we we can hear you uh felipe i think you you lost you can open microphone felipe no but he's he's um, he's he's not muted yeah yeah now we can hear you go ahead please so where are you working now tori Oh, next, 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 Felipe. Oh, I'm still at the bank. I don't like it, Tori. That's to buy. Why not? Well, it's boring and it doesn't pay well, very well. I know what you mean. I don't like my job either. I wish I could find a better job actually i don't want to work uh, at all at all anymore <laughs> i wish i had a lot of money so i could retire more mm. Mm. how are you how old are you terry <laughs> oh 26 <laughs> Gran Viviamba, Nini, Nini, ni trabaja ni estudia, quiere ser. Let's go back to the main station, gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so well, welcome back. Since we are running out of time, it's 9.50. Let me just go over this grammar very quickly. You just had the chance to review. I think, okay, and I'm pretty sure that this is not the first time you see this grammar. The grammar is, you know, making wishes. Like you say, I wish I had money. People think about that very frequently, right? I, or I wish I were young. In this case, what's uh, Terry's problem? In the conversation, mm -hmm. in the conversation, the practice, uh, yes. no. Uh, yes, we're actually we already practiced this conversation, Rodrigo. Uh, what I'm saying right now is that uh, you can see here the grammar in a conversation. So uh, Brian is saying, uh, uh, so I know what you mean. I don't like my job. He's saying that what's the situation? So Brian doesn't like his job. Tampoco, right? Either either means tampoco. Okay. And then he says, I wish I could find a better job. To make a wish, okay, you go, I wish, and then if it's you, you say, I, I could find a better job. Or you can also say, I had a better job. The structure is in the past. So, utilizamos una estructura en pasado, aunque no signifique pasado, verdad? Sino que it's just, it's just a wish. And that's the structure you have to follow. And you see this one, it says, I don't want to work at all anymore. No quiero trabajar para nada, at all. At all significa para nada. And then he, Terry says, I wish, desearía, desearía tener mucho dinero. Pero la estructura es had, ¿verdad? El verbo después de esto va a ser en pasado. I wish, I were, I wish, I went. Yeah. Me dejó el bus, I wish I have taken the bus, for example. 
but look at this structure in here. So lo look at this structure very quickly. Let me just go this, go over this very quickly. We, we don't have too much time. We only have eight minutes, all right? So um, look at this. This is the situation. We use the past in the same way after wish. You see, I wish I knew, desearía conocer. Or I wish I were, desearía ser. We use wish to say that we regret, o sea, nos arrepentimos de algo. We regret something. Or that something is not as we would like it to be. O quisiéramos cambiar algo. Right? So that, then we have, I wish I knew Paul's phone number. Right? What's the situation? What's the reality? I don't know. I don't know it and regret it. O sea, me arrepiento que no le pedí el número a este fulano. Do you ever wish you could fly? No sé, alguna vez piensa, o oh, desearía poder volar? And then, what's the situation? We cannot fly unless you pay the ticket, you know, for a, for a, uh, for a uh, fly, for a plane. And then it's very crowded in here. I wish there weren't so many people. What's the situation? Usted va en el bus y hay mucha gente. So that's why you say, I wish there weren't so many people. En pasado, ¿verdad? So this is the past over here, all right? And this one was the situation I wish I didn't have to work tomorrow, but I, unfortunately I do. Me tengo que levantar temprano mañana. ¿Cuál es la situación? I wish I didn't have to work tomorrow. And what's the present situation? I have to work tomorrow. El pasado sería, I wish I didn't have to work. ¿Cómo la pronuncia la palabra, teacher? Infortunate. Unfortunately, 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 yes, unfortunately, okay, yes, Thank you. you're welcome. And then you have, I'm glad I live here, verdad, everything is good, I live here and that's good, verdad, no quiero vivir en otro lugar, verdad, porque estoy feliz, verdad, de estar aquí, estoy a gusto de Pero qué tal si usted es lo opuesto? Dice, I wish I live here. I don't live here, unfortunately. O sea, dice, llego a visitar a mis tíos y viven en una casa bonita. Yo digo, I wish I live here. Desearía vivir aquí. Que okay, I wish I live here. O sea, básicamente lo que ustedes hacen ponen, I wish, or she wishes, or they wish, y de ahí ponen el mismo sujeto. ¿verdad? It's the same subject over there. And then you go, I wish, el verbo en pasado. Si la situación fuera negativa, fuera, I wish I didn't live here. Si fuera con el verbo to be, sería, I wish I weren't. I wish she weren't. But let's get to practice. Tenemos aquí estas ocho oraciones. And so, since we don't have time, we only have five minutes. I'm going to send you to practice in purse the last time. And here you're going to use the grammar, okay? Y les voy a mandar este cuadrito. So I'm going to share this, this chart with you so you can have it. For example, you can say, my class is boring. My class is boring. You can say, that's the, that's the reality. Desearía que mi clase no fuera aburrida o desearía tener una clase más interesante. So you have two options in there. All right? So you can say, my class is boring. I wish my class weren't boring. Or I wish I had uh, an interesting class. Solo sigan la estructura, ¿verdad? La segunda oración tiene que ir en una estructura de pasado. Ya sea con el mismo verbo, este en pasado, is, the past will be where, en todos. That's the exception over here. All right? Is that clear? Yes. Nice. So let's get to practice, please. Uh, join this. You only have like two or three minutes to go over this. So let's try not to waste time. I'm going to send this image to you so you can actually practice. All right, so join the breaker rooms, please. All right, so just one. Oh, sorry, I didn't send the, the conversation previously.
ejemplo, my class is boring. Boring. Here and then I, ¿qué te llama? I wish it. I, I wish class. it. Um, By este Noria, eh, lo I, que tiene que, uh -huh. what, you, what you have to use, perdón, what you have to use is the past of the verb, el pasado del verbo. Pero hay una excepción. Cuando utilizamos uh -huh. esta gramática de que decimos yo desearía, sí. el pasado del verbo to be siempre va a ser where. Siempre. It's where. Where. It, uh -huh. It's for, every, for everything. Where, where. Yes, it doesn't really matter if you say I, he, she, and, and it. You're gonna say all the time where. You can say my class is boring, so I wish my class weren't boring. I wish my class weren't boring. Or, or, or I wish my class is were more interesting. Were more interesting, yes, yes. You can go positive okay. or you can go negative. It's up to you. So what okay. about the second one, Mr. Jose? What do you have? I have to take the bus to work every day. And you see, this is the situation that she has. Right, this I, I, I wish I were No, in este caso, so verbo, difficult. this verb. I have. Uh, I wish I have mm -hmm. to take the bus every no, day. No, no. no, because you take the bus. You want, to, you want, you want this, take a look. Uh, I have, I wish I had a ticket. Had a car, right? Yes. Take a car. <laughs> or you just can say, no necesariamente tiene que utilizar todas estas palabras. But, but, but you have to understand, you don't have a car. You know, I don't have a car. So, I wish, y luego el verbo have en pasado. I, I wish I had, I wish I had a car. A car. No I, necesariamente estoy car. diciendo. No, no, no estoy diciendo, yo deseo tuve un carro. O, o... Yo deseo, yo desearía tener un carro. Ajá, that's a translation. But grammar, gram grammarly speaking, we gotta use the past. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Okay. Or you can also say, I wish I didn't have to take the bus. Desearía no, no abordar el bus, ¿verdad? O tomar el bus. Ajá, exactly. I What wish about... I didn't... I didn't take the bus. Okay. Exactly. So on number three, okay. what's the situation? He says, our, our apartment is too small. Apartment so that is muy chiquito. Small. Right? But Entonces, what do you I, wish? I wish. I wish you. No, I wish. To, uh -huh. No. I wish I were yes. I, I wish it's. Exactly. So I wish I would have bought it. I wish it were. Uh huh. It, bigger, like you said, Jose. It were big. Bigger. Uh -huh. Or I wish it, it weren't too small. Que sería que no fuera tan chiquito, verdad? That's the idea. Like here, I have too much homework in the platform. You know. <laughs> I wish I had. No, the opposite. Uh, porque, porque está diciendo, José, desearía tener mucha tarea. Uh, you, you, you want okay, the opposite. Okay. You want the opposite. I, <laughs> si I no, le, le dejo más otra plataforma. <laughs> no. No, thanks. I pass. Uh -huh, okay. I wish. I, okay. yeah. I had it. I, uh -huh. Was negative. I wish. I wish I had it. No, was uh, en, en pasado. ¿Cómo hacemos el pasado negativo? Pasado? Aquí está, ¿ves? Had, had, had. Ah, el pasado. The, uh, I wish I didn't have. I didn't. I didn't have. have. I didn't uh, have. 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 Exactly. Or, or I wish I had. I wish I had. 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 All right. Okay. All right. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello.
<laughs> Hello. Actually, actually, oh, yeah. It's time to say goodbye, you know. Okay. Okay. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> you are the you are the excellent teacher. Yes, yeah. teacher. Thank you. 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 Thank Sacudo, verdad, lo que se me ha olvidado. Remember this, en honor a ustedes, I want to say, way to go. You know, way to go. Oh. So, congratulations. <laughs> Por eso la puse, yeah. no crean, vea. <laughs> vea, but I don't want to make you, I don't want to make you cry, so. <laughs> no, the Titanic is still a flop, you know, todavía no se el Titanic. <laughs> So don't go, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you, everyone. Hope to see you in the, in you know in this life or you know later on, please. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Please thank you. do not do not give up. Continuemos, continuemos, please yeah. siempre. Okay. Yes. So have a great weekend. Hope to see you around. Bye, teacher. Bye. Thank and, and thanks for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye Thank to everyone. Teacher, nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you, everyone. Nice meeting you. Really. Excellent teacher. Bye. Bye. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye, Mr. Angel. Bye. Bye, Mr. David, Raquel, and everyone. <laughs>